Hello, Christian here, and welcome to episode two of Ohioic's formula series. Today we're going to talk very briefly about the history of infant formula, what's in it, and a little bit about how it's made. So let's start at the beginning. As I'm sure you know, human beings would not have survived for so long as a species without our ability to breastfeed. Humans are mammals, which means we are distinguished from reptiles and birds and other animals by the fact that we uh, have hair, we have middle ear bones, we have a region in our brain that allows us to have higher order brain functions like language and spatial reasoning. And there, there's one more thing, you probably guessed it, it's mammary glands. Mammals get their name from the Latin word spelled M-A-M-M-A, -M -M -A, which means breast. As a species, we have always breastfed our young. Before the introduction of formula and the baby bottle as we know it today, if a mother didn't breastfeed her own child for any reason, it was common to use a wet nurse to breastfeed her baby. If human milk wasn't available, a variety of different feeding devices throughout history made from things like wood or clay, animal horns or silver would be used to feed different animals milk, such as goat's milk or sheep or pigs, camels, horses. All of these things were used to feed human infants. Um, bottles that most closely resemble what we are familiar with today became more available starting around the 1950s. In the 1800s and early 1900s, there were a lot of scientific advances in man-made infant formula. This would include the invention of evaporated milk and also a greater understanding of the need for cleanliness and how disease spreads, food preservation, and the quality of ingredients. By the 1940s and 50s, the use of infant formula was well known and considered safe. Formula's popularity had a lot to do with marketing by formula companies, um, women joining the workforce during World War II, and the misconception that formula was just as nutritious as breast milk. In the years since then, mothers are encouraged to breastfeed more, and at the same time, a lot of efforts have been made to improve the nutrient content of formula to be as much like breast milk as possible. So what about present day? Infant formula is heavily regulated by the Food and Drug Administration more than any other food. This began with the Infant Formula Act of 1980, which was made to ensure the safety and specific nutrition of infant formula. Nutrient requirements in infancy are greater than any other time in the life cycle, and infant formula might be a baby's only source of nutrition. So it was important that minimum and maximum levels of nutrients were established. Additionally, there are rules about infant formula's nutrient quality, records and reporting, formula recalls, quality control measures, manufacturing practices, labeling, and, and more. So what is infant formula made of? Milk is an emulsion, which means it's made up of tiny drops of one liquid suspended in another. So in this case, it would be fats and oils suspended in water. All infant formulas are required to have protein and several different vitamins, minerals, and elements. Most proteins in infant formula come from cow's milk or soybeans. Fatty acids in infant formula generally come from vegetable oils, but may also come from fish oils like EPA, um, egg yolk phospholipids like DHA, fatty acid precursors, or other sources um, to try to imitate the fatty acid profile in breast milk. Um, there also must be an emulsifier or a stabilizer to ensure that the oil and water soluble aspects of the product don't separate. So an animal fat, um, variety of vegetable oils, and thickeners like starches or gums are used in infant formula as well. Last but not least, you may be wondering, how is formula made? I kind of think this process is actually pretty complex, but it's all very controlled and it's as clean and safe as possible. Basically, all of the ingredients are mixed together and a variety of processes may occur to blend them, heat, sift, pasteurize, homogenize, and standardize the product to regulation. Then it's packaged, sterilized, um, and shipped out for consumption. 
And that is the basics of what formula is and where it came from. For more really interesting historical information and way more detailed information about what's in formula and how it's made, some of the sources I used when making this video are in the bio below. Be sure to check them out if you're looking for more information. There's a ton to learn about. So thanks for joining me today. Until next time, stay healthy, Ohio.